Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and tuning in. Hello, uh, William. Hello, Raphael. Thank you so much for joining us and tuning in today. Hi, Cody. Today, I'm very excited to share with you guys a bold color technique using Wella Color Charm paints. And we're gonna be creating an amazing colorful, colorful rainbow fringe. And this is gonna be a fun uh, technique that you can guys, hi Caroline Kim, that you guys can create, hi Elsa, uh, at the salon for your clients. And I'm also going to be talking about freehand painting techniques and how to add pops of colors, something that is very commercial, uh, something that you can use at the salon, maybe to add pops of colors or introduce someone into the fashion colors. And so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Luis Rodriguez. I am a Wella Color and Charm top artist, and I'm very excited to share with you today all of this information. Now, I have a few announcements to make before I start. I just want to let everyone know that if at any point you have any questions, you could write them in the comment box. And I have my amazing fiance here, Rafael, who is going to be helping me with your questions so that I can answer them all as soon as possible. Another announcement is if by any chance I do not answer your question during this live, I'll be going into the video tomorrow and I'll make sure I will answer everyone's questions as well. Um, and before we continue, I also want to let those of you who are uh, joining in now and tuning in, if you're looking at this video and maybe the comments are in the way of uh, you seeing the technique, you can swipe to your right hand side and it'll take those comments away and you can see um, the tutorial more properly if you're not interested into reading the comments. And last but not least, please let me know where you're watching from. Okay, so that I would know where you guys are from. And so let's get started. As you can see, um, this is the beautiful model we're going to work on today. And she has been pre-lightened up to a level 9. And I did that uh, before I started the video because, of course, you don't want to wait 30 minutes for this to process. You know, so for uh, the sake of time, if you will. Now, to create, to recreate this technique, um, you're going to need some gloves. You're also going to need uh, six of these brushes. I mean, we're going to use five of these brushes today because we're going to do a rainbow using five different colors. Oh, hello from San Diego, Elsa. Hi, hi, Anita. We're going to use like uh, five of these because we're using five different colors. So if you're using two or three colors, depending on how many colors you're using, you as of course, you guys are professionals. You'll use your brushes. But what I mean is you'll need a separate brush for each color. It's very important. You don't want to mix those together if you want like a pure tone. OK, you're also going to need a comb to kind of like brush the hair and put it into place. Oh, Gisane, it's watching Forum Seattle. I hope I pronounced your name right. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm very excited about this. We're also going to need a, a tail comb to separate. And, of course, you're going to need your Wella Color Charm Pates color. And if, if obviously, if you're going to pre-lighten, um, you're going to want to use, uh, I used personally the Wella Color and Charm Powder Lightener with 40 volume. I apply it onto the fringe and I let it process for 30 minutes. She's a level 5, so I get, uh, to give it 4 levels of lift, I use the 40 volume in 30 minutes. And this is the end result. As you can see, it's an, a, a level 9, which is a very light blonde, golden blonde tone. So it does have, like you can see here, it does have that warmth to it. I didn't pre-lighten it all the way to like a level 10 or, or lighter. 
All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna uh, do is that you are gonna pre-lighten the hair, of course, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it so that you have an idea of how to recreate this or this video can inspire you to do something different. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. This is just for inspiration purposes. Okay, so what I did is that I, let me tilt this a little bit down. I created kind of like a happy, uh, a happy mouth here. Like I would say like a half moon shape, if you will, in the bottom part. And then what I did is that I used a mesh like this one. Let me show you a mesh like this and I went and I cut kind of like that half moon shape that loop as you can see there and I and you can do this with foil paper as well okay it doesn't have to be this mesh it could be foil paper so once you get that you lift the hair up and you let the hair fall like so and now using some clips or bobby pins you're going to make sure that you secure the mesh or the foil paper on each side okay i know we have a contest going on instagram as well so you guys can check that out later on after this video all righty, let me get this. With the gloves, it's a little hard to kind of like get the bobby pin in there. So I'm just going to use a regular pin. And then you're going to use, thank you for the hearts, guys. And now all you have to do is just place that fringe on top of that mesh. Okay? And there you have it. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to... If this hair was not pre-lightened, I would use the same mesh and the same um, sectioning to pre-lighten the hair. And so now what we're going to do is that we're going to grab really fine sections. And we're going to tuck the hair away in the back like so and now we're going to start applying the fashion colors and now i chose to use five different colors but you can do more or less you do want to make sure that the hair lays flat on the mesh so that you have a good canvas to work and so we're going to start with the red color oh let me show you this before I continue what I did guys because we're not going to need a lot of color because we're doing like very fine sections with each colors and you'll see but what I did is that I placed all my Wella Color Charm colors into this balayage palette and I just placed them there so that I could grab them very easily and I'll be using uh, a different brush with each color. And so let's get started. The first color I'm going to be using today is going to be the strawberry. And I'm going to apply that right at the root. And the same way I am applying this color, the same way is the, the way that I apply the powder lightener. Okay? So if this wasn't pre-lightened, you would just apply the lightener here. All right, now we have our first color already there. Basically, what I do is that I use the flat part of the brush and I, I put some color in there and I press it down. And you want to make sure that you're generous, that you're not cheap with the color because remember guys, this needs to be very well saturated for it to grab. Do we have any questions? Now we're gonna apply the second color, which is the orange. And I am placing each and one of the colors right next to each other, as you can see here. That's our second color, which is the orange color. So we have a question from Benji Jones. 
Okay. And what levels will be best to make the BB colors pop? Oh, that's a great question. What's uh, the name? What's his name again? I'm sorry. ¿Quién preguntó? It's Benji John. Benji, thank you so much for that question. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, um, it's best to pre-lighten the hair all the way to uh, a level nine at least. Like what you saw here, which is a light golden blonde, if you will. And then I think that's uh, the vivid colors look best on levels nine and up. So if you want to pre-lighten all the way to a level 10, that can work as well but i find that we don't need to with with the wella color charm paints you don't need to pre-lighten all the way to a level 10 if you don't want to you know i always think about uh the integrity of the client's hair and we want to add pots of colors you know looking at it from the perspective of working behind the chair um, we want to make sure that the hair is always healthy. And so that was the light blue after the yellow. And finally, I am going to put the purple, the purple or the violet color in the very ends. And right now, guys, we have basically our layout. And this is great. You have to be, you know, very precise when you're doing your first application because that's going to be your layout. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have enough color there and that you're kind of like marrying them together, not leaving spaces in between each color because then that would create a line. Okay, do we have any more questions? Yes. We have awesome. Nelly Ore Orellana. Oh, she thanks. Asked, what shampoo need you use for keep the color longer? Okay, that's a great question. Usually for the, uh, and this is why I use the cone guys. What I'm doing now, I will answer your question uh, right now. I'm so sorry about that. I let the hair down another fine section. And now what I'm doing is that I am kind of like placing it. Kind of like if the hair was kind of like a fan. And I'm placing it on top. Okay, some people, like Miss Anita Gutierrez, show me wants to use a, a, a plastic wrap to put on top. You can do that, or you can also use a piece of the mesh or, an, or another foil paper and kind of like place it on top like this and press down a little just so that it sticks and that you have a better canvas to work with and so in terms of shampoo to maintain the hair I would say a tip and trick a pro tip that I would say is that the client or yourself should wash your hair with really cold water that's gonna help for the color to stay in place and not go down the drain very easily now this color is gonna fade on tone so it's gonna fade very beautifully Another tip in terms of shampoos, I can say that maybe you can use a sulfate-free sulfate shampoo. That would be great. And another thing would be probably not washing your hair as much. <laughs> the Wella Color Charm paints, it's a semi-permanent color that lasts up to 20 washes. So the more that you wash it, the faster it's going to fade away. Another, thank you so much for that question. You know why? Because another um, thing is that depending on what color you're applying to your, to your client, it's going to determine how much is going to last. For example, if you put uh, a color like this, like this very light pink, this may fade quicker than the violet or the red or the orange, if that makes sense. I hope that answered your question. I have another question from Tinia Birfect. She asks, are the BB color just pure pigment or they mixed with developer? That is a great question. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, you are, these colors, you don't have to mix it with any developer. You're going to apply it straight from the tube 
on to the hair. Now, a great thing about these colors is that they have also a clear shade that you can use to dilute these pure tones into more of a pastels colors. So these are pure tone and they're very vivid and um, they're ammonia free, paraben free, sulfate free, and you don't have to mix it with developer. Another great, great, great um, thing about these is that they have a color invent technology that you can place them right next to each other. If you were going to do, I don't know, let's say instead of, uh, of horizontal, you would do verticals. You can place it next to each other and it's not going to bleed onto each other. So that's another great thing that I love about uh, this color. And as you can see, guys, what I'm doing is that I am... Continuing the same pattern that I uh, did in the beginning and I am using very fine sections to kind of like bring some more of that hair down like so and then what I do is that I use kind of like a comb like this with wider teeth to set the hair into place and what we want to create is kind of like we want to create kind of like a fan you know we want it to be open so that this way we're able to apply all these colors in a very organized way, if you will, for this technique at least. Yes. So we have another question. This one is from jo uh, Juan Sandra. He asked, do you let the color process at, process at room temperature or under dryer? That is a great question. What's his name? I'm sorry. It's Juan Sandra. Juan, thank you so much for your question. That it's a great question, actually. These I let it process at room temperature. I do not add heat to it. I mean, uh, as I've been using them for a while now, and I've never used heat on it. Um, I don't think you have to. The colors are so vivid and powerful that you don't really need to add any heat to it. As long as the hair is pre-lightened all the way to a level nine or lighter, you're gonna be totally fine. And so we continue here to do our rainbow fringe. Thank you so much for all of those who are joining in. Thank you so much for all of these amazing questions that always help me to um for this class to be better yes so welcome all of those amazing questions thank you so much guys and that was our light blue and now finally we're going to put the violet in the very tips so one of the reasons i decided to do this color technique is because when by the way thank you so much marlo beauty Wella Color Charm and Wella Educations for inviting me and having me here. And so one of the things that um, I was thinking about when Marlo invited me to do this live, can't wait to see the result, says Sarah LaSorsa. Oh, thank you so much. Can they be, uh, thank you so much for the comment, Sarah. I have another question by Kenya. It says, can they be mixed equally to create different shades? Great question, Kenya. Thank you so much. Yes, you can intermix them and create your shades. Like, for example, if you mix, I don't know, a blue with a yellow, you'll make a nice green. And like I said, also, they have a clear um a clear shade that you can use to dilute. And finally, we're going to go for our final, final section. Because I know everybody is excited to see the final results. And we're getting there. We are getting there. Like I said, you want to make sure that you lay the hair nicely. I sometimes I do press on it, but if I can see through very clearly the colors, which you can if you follow um, by doing very thin sections, it won't be a problem. You won't even have to really press. And so this um, 
when the when Marlo and Wella Education invited me, I was like, I want to share something that kind of like relates to me, that talks about me. And I'm a very happy person. I'm very bubbly. I love colors. And I was like, why not do a rainbow fringe? You know, it's fun. And the rainbow has has so many positive meanings, if you will. So this is why I chose to share with you guys how to create this rainbow bang technique. And as you can see, I'm continuing to just uh, use horizontal. Um, I'm applying the color horizontally, you know, and I'm not blending a lot. You know, this technique, it's very kind of like solid, if you will. I'm not blending a lot, but if you want it to, you can blend more and make those lines of demarcation in between colors, if you will, a little bit more seamlessly. And that's one of the things I love about educating here alive because I can share the work that I've done and I can share, you know, all of the things that I've learned with over a decade in the beauty industry. And so we're gonna continue with the, we already put the yellow, we're gonna continue with the light blue. And then we'll finally place the color purple. All right. We have a lot to cover. That's why I am on trying to, you know, I wanted to do the whole technique live because I really want you guys to see how it's done from beginning to end. Benji says, I agree. Oh, thank you so much. All righty, guys. And there you have it. There you have it. Look at that. Now we have that beautiful. Now you could untuck these clips. And of course, because the color is there, um, it, it's going to stay. Okay, now we, you take those off. And what I what what I'll do now is that I'll let it process, like I said, for up to 20 minutes. And then, pro tip, you're going to rinse it with cold, cold, as cold as the client can take water. Why? Because that is going to help when you remove the color that they don't bleed into each other and mess up your work. So that's a great tip. Another thing that I love about the Wella, the, about these fashion shades from Wella Color Charm is that it doesn't need to be washed. You can just rinse it, rinse it thoroughly, and that's it. It's going to leave the hair like if you applied a hydrating mask. And they smell so, so good. I feel like I want to eat them. And so this is it, guys. How do you guys like it? Luis Maldonado, thank you so much for joining in. Un abrazo a toda mi gente de Puerto Rico. That looks awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Are these PPD and PDT free for people with color allergies? These are very safe. Thank you for the question. That was from Holly Smith. And then, uh, and they are very safe for anyone, even for kids. Even for pets, I would use it too, because they're paraben free, sulfate free, ammonia free. I have another question here. Let me see if I can get to it before we continue. If you want to do the rainbow color for the whole head, would you use the same technique? Probably, you know, it all depends about what you want for your end result, but you can definitely use this technique throughout the whole head. Remember, you would have to pre-lighten the hair from root to ends up to a level nine at least in order to be able to do that. I mean, let me tell you guys, I have used these colors even on a level seven and they work, but you have to make the right judgment. I know everybody that's watching here, it's a professional. Thank you so much, Caroline. So use your judgment. And if you have any questions or, or doubt, please reach out to me or to any of our Wella Color Charm artists and we will all answer you. All righty, so let's pretend that this process for 20 minutes. Ready for the final results? I'm ready. And there you have it. How do you guys like this? It was an easy PC, very easy to recreate. 
if you wanted to recreate if you don't want to recreate this it's okay but i hope that i gave you an inspiration to create something new because that's what we want to share the well of love with our fashion shades and for you to just be creative and you know what please if you recreate something or create something that was inspired from this burial video Tag me on Instagram or Facebook, Luis Fernando underscore hair on Instagram and Luis Fernando hair on Facebook. And tag Wella Color Charm, tag Marlo Beauty, and let us know, okay? Thank you for the hearts. Let's see. Caroline Kim says she loves it. Thank you so much for that. Way cool. Oh my goodness, so much love. Linda, can't wait to see it. Love it, says Anita Gutierrez. Thank you, Anita, I love you. Need, need apply conditioner or mask? Not really. You can just rinse it. Or peace, Wanda, I love you, mi amor. No need to apply a conditioning mask. Oh, thank you, Liz Maldonado. Thank you, Anita. No need to apply anything. Just rinse it out, style, and you're ready to go, okay? So, talking about styling, talking about styling, let me just get my wife tooth comb right here really quick. And I want to share with you, I created a little bit of wave to the hair using my GHD wand to give it like a little bit of volume on the sides. And so this, you don't, own, you don't have to wear it like this. The client has options, you know. L look at this, guys. Look at this. You can just go in there and just push the hair up a little. Make it a little bit more messy, a little bit more trendy if you're doing it for a runway or a fashion show. Look at all that. Look at all the pops of colors. Look how vibrant it looks. This call they have 18 different shades that you can intermix or use by each other. They're amazing and look at all that shine. The client could do that. If the client wants to wear it to the side, they can wear it to the side and give kind of like a different look. As you can see, guys, I wanted to talk about this a little bit as well. You can get creative with this. You can do a zigzag. You can do whatever you want to it. And so if you can see, I left the underneath, as you saw, when we started creating the look with my other mannequin, and I hope I'm not in the way there of you seeing it. You put them in, Rafael. They can see? Yeah. Perfect. So as you can see, this part, I didn't do anything to it. So it gives some depth. So if the client wants to open this up a little bit, you can see the depth in there. You know, and then they also can make it wider. I only did it on the fringe, but if this was kind of like a, um, like the, if this was longer hair here, they can go even all the way down here. You can make such great techniques using this technique that I'm sharing with you today. You know, you can make it wider, bigger, bolder, or you can just, you know, make it nice and sleek and shorter like from in terms of the width it's what i'm talking about all righty thank you so much everyone so let's move on to another look that i want to share with you guys using the wella color charm painting balayage lightener which is one of the newest babies here let me show it to you. This is this is kind of like a lightning system that we have. It comes in the step one and the step two. And this is a lightener for balayage, for free hand painting applications where you are not going want to need, where you're not going to want to need um, any foil paper. You don't have to use foil paper. If you want to, you can, but you don't really have to because of the technology. It's a clay based lightener that gives you up to six levels of lift. And let's get to it, you know. I already pre-mixed the, the formula here. And I am going to share with you a quick balayage technique that you could do at the salon. Easy, quick, and safe. 
especially now in days with all of the things that are going on that are going on in the world we need to take care of our clients in a timely manner because we can only take one at a time at a time not like before that we could switch in between so i think that this technique is going to be uh, very helpful for you guys out there and also for the students that i know that follow marlo beauty um facebook page okay remember if you have questions bring them on all right so the first thing that we're going to do to create an amazing balayage but quick is that we're going to divide the hair into three sections so we're going to divide the hair like around maybe the arch of the client so we're going to divide kind of like the top crown two and we're going to tuck it away let me tuck that one away right there oh let me show you like that you can see better then we're going to do another section. It's only going to be three sections. It's going to be, and then I'm, I use the ear for this next section as a guide. So you can use kind of like the top of the crown and then the ear. Okay, and I'm going to tuck this in. Let me get another little clip here. And maybe this one is divided a little bit more better. So we're going to do like this, maybe using the arch. And then we're going to use the ear. And we're going to uh, end up with three sections. One, two, and then this is the third section. And that's where we're going to start. Let me put some gloves on. Another great thing to have when you're doing not only balayage, but also the fashion colors like the rainbow, it's... It's to have a nice clean towel around or maybe damped because if you need to clean your hands or anything, it's great to have it so that the colors don't, you know, blend into each other. All right, so I, I was gathering everything for you guys and now I am all ready. And so we're going to start for this technique. You are only going to need a paddle like this to balayage. Um, but this is kind of like optional. I'll show you how to do it with this and without. Okay. Thank you so much for everybody that's joining in. Oh my goodness. I appreciate it. Where is my other oh, brush? There you go. And so the techniques consist of being, uh, quick and easy. So what we're going to do, we're always going to grab the hair that it's around the perimeter. That's a must. We're always going to start there. So we're going to grab the hair around the perimeter and we're using i would say this is about a half an inch section we're going to apply a little bit of the product we mix the the wella color charm balayage painting lightener in a one to one mixing ratio and what i'm doing is that i am using this half an inch section and i am applying the color closer to the root and then I am just going to saturate the mid shaft and ends. So towards the root, I'm not going to saturate all the way down, but in the mid shaft and ends, I will. If you're going to use your palette, this is the time where you will use the palette to saturate both sides. So the palette helps because when you press the color into the palette, and I will show you now what it does. When you press it onto the palette, the color goes on both sides. Let me see if I can show you that a little bit closer. Okay, so on the top, it's only in the top as you can see and look in the bottom. The bottom is all saturated. You see all the product is here and under here, there's nothing. That is key because you want to leave the depth and this is going to create a very beautiful, kind of like a sun-kissed, beachy look, if you will, but with a rooted look, all right? Then we're gonna leave a space, an empty space. We're not gonna do nothing. We're gonna be alternating one yes, the one around the perimeter, one no, and then we'll do 
another yes, which is when I say one yes, one no, it's alternating between uh, color and leaving a little bit of the natural hair um, without coloring. So, and I'm gonna continue doing the same thing. We're just gonna go lightly towards the root and then in the mid shaft and ends, we're going to saturate so that the product goes in all of the hair strands from the mid shaft and ends. And this is gonna give it more of a subtle look closer to the root and more of a dramatic feel towards the end. We already have that ready. Is there any questions? Yes, perfect. We have a question from Benji Jones. Yes. He asked, will a higher developer be best to use since it is open air in processing? That is a great question. Thank you so much. Um, this balayage, uh, Wella Color Charm uh, balayage lightener, Wella Color Charm painting balayage lightener, it comes with its a dedicated developer, which is a level, it's a 30 volume. If you want to go lighter than that, you know, you can, but I would say that I would take into consideration the porosity of the hair, the density, the diameter, all of that, it's going to be crucial when you're determining uh, what uh, volume you're going to use. And, and I see where you're coming from because I understand that since it's in open air, um, it's uh, most likely probably you're thinking it's not going to lift enough. And to add to that, this particular lightener is for someone who is looking for natural beachy results I mean, if the model was a, le a natural level nine or a natural level eight, it would give her um, kind of like super blonde results because she's a naturally blonde. But for someone like this, who is a, like this mannequin, who is a natural level five, this is going to give only up to six levels of lift. What I would do probably instead of hiring the developer i will still use the dedicated developer and i would probably add a little bit of ceram wrap or foil paper to add a little bit of heat and maybe give a little bit more of a uh stronger impactful result i hope this answered your question thank you so much for that question and so what we're doing here it's like i said before it's really easy we're going to be alternating always starting at the perimeter because we want the most level of lightness around that area and we're going to alternate one the first one it's color the second one i won't and then now I'm going to do another one here and I'm working with vertical subsections. As you can see, guys, this is a very wide uh, section, if you will, but it's, and that's, it's wide, but it's thin at the same time. It's a, let me make sure you can see this a little better. It's a half an inch, if you will, from here to here it's a half an inch but from here to here as you know it's pretty kind of like wide you know but it doesn't matter it's going to give you an amazing result so what we're going to do we're going to start applying the color kind of like in the mid shaft and then we're going to work our way up when the brush doesn't have a lot of product this is key because you want to make sure that the uh, part that is closer to the root it's kind of like um smudged so we're going to use very um, soft strokes and we're doing kind of like a sweeping motion technique and so as you can see here i have a, a a nice tension there you know the hair it's not laying down like that i'm not pulling the client too much but it's just a nice tension for you to work with if you're someone who doesn't have the the palette uh this palette that I'm using, you can use the back of your hand. So you would just grab the hair like so, put it on top of your wrist, and then just fully saturate the mid shaft and ends by pressing the brush and the collar onto your wrist, therefore making sure that the hair it's covered in the mid shaft and ends is covered in both sides and you go and you check like i'm doing now let's make sure that this is 
processing well. You see, you can use your fingers. You can use the back of your finger to kind of like smudge it in. And let me see if it could get a better look or a better view by turning my mm, mannequin around. Now, if you're going to use the back of your wrist, then you will definitely are going to need this to clean your hands. Okay, so we're done with that one. Let me get another one here. So it's going to be one no, one yes. And then I would do six sections. We did the three in this side, but you definitely to do the whole head, you would do three on the other side. And so basically what I'm doing is that I'm applying the color in the mid shaft, as you can see. And then when the brush doesn't have that much product, it's when I'm trying to uh, smudge or sweep towards the root so that it has less of an impact there. It's more natural looking. And then I'm using the palette to push the hair, I mean the color or the lightener, against the palette to make sure that it saturates both sides. And I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with this because the balayage technique, it's not something that just came out that's been out there. What it's kind of like new and refreshing, it's, you know, an easier, quicker way to apply the product. Okay? And now I'm going to do just a few more sections because I want to share with you on the other side I already pre-lightened it I did exactly what I'm uh, showing you now on the other side and it already processed and I washed and conditioned I mean you know like washed the hair and dried it and now because the Wella Color Charm paints are great when you apply it on dry hair clean towel towel dry hair or dry hair if you want to have the most impact I would say to do it on dry hair if you're looking for maximum impact from your Wella Color Charm paints definitely and you see guys I'm just kind of like placing it right around her face frame to bring you know kind of like the face um, the face frame or the perimeter out bring it out and give her some nice pops of lightness there that we can then go later on and apply our fashion shades okay and so i'm gonna end it up here i would definitely finish this side up later and i'm gonna show you now what the end result will be so the hair is going to look like so. And this is raw. This is no toner, nor no anything. You see how natural is that, that beautiful color? It lifts six levels of lift. I left it on for up to 50 minutes. And this is what you will get. Nice, beautiful color. It's like, a, I would say that's like a, between a level eight and a level nine. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, once you have that, we're gonna do the same. We're going to do the same sectioning that we did when we were applying the lightener. So same sectioning, guys. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use those same sections that we pre-lightened using the, uh, the Wella Color Charm Painting Balayage Lightener. And now I'm going to go into those pieces and I'm going to be using some of the new colors from Wella Color Charm Paints, which is raspberry, mulberry, and pink. And now we're going to apply this onto those highlighted areas to give it some pop of color. This is a great way to introduce someone who has never used pops of color, this is a great way to introduce them into fun colors because you can choose maybe something uh, that's a little bit more natural, like, like these. Uh, the color raspberry, it's a very nice color. And we're going to be doing the same thing. As you can see, we're going to apply the color next to the perimeter. We're going to leave an empty space. And then on the other piece of hair, 
we're going to apply I apply in the first piece I apply the the raspberry on the second piece of hair I am applying the mulberry and I love the mulberry because it gives it like a nice plum plum berry color that I love 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 thank you so much for the hearts guys I appreciate it and now we're gonna be doing the same thing and so let me show you this really quickly so if I bring down this part you can see here how we did one yes one no one yes one no and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing now with the color in this part you don't have to worry if you touch the darker colors it's okay because the color it's only going to live wherever it has been pre lightened all right so let me just uh, go ahead and apply a little bit of the pink color here another thing you can use is that for example I'm using the pink color but you can do maybe pink in the top and raspberry in the ends you could mix it up you could blend them into each other or you can just do a solid color that is that and now I'm gonna go to the other one and basically this is kinda like a very organic technique I like to do it in a systematic way if you're at the salon sometimes being a little bit systematic helps in terms of timing so I would do like one pink, one raspberry, one mulberry. So that's my pink one. That was, uh, the first one is the pink. The second one is the mulberry. I mean, the second one is the raspberry and the third one is the mulberry. Look, I got all confused now. Check that out. How's everybody doing? Please give me hearts if you're enjoying this live tutorial. And I'm going to show you the final result from this technique very soon. Okay, and there you have it. This is our last section over here where we're going to add the pink. And so we're basically applying each and one of the colors. And we're using raspberry, mulberry, and pink. And you can alternate. You see how nice that looks? Pink, raspberry, mulberry, pink, raspberry, mulberry. And on the part of the front, I like to switch it up a little bit. And for example here, what I like to do is that I wanna put a little bit, let me show you right there, it's better. I'm gonna put mulberry at the root. If you wanna make like a rooted, kind of technique using the fashion colors you can do so by putting maybe the mulberry right there towards the root thank you so much for the hearts guys and I'm gonna do the raspberry in the end so we did mulberry at the root and raspberry in the end and then we're gonna continue and now I can just do a solid pink now I would say guys in my experience working with the pink specifically if the hair it's been pre lightened to a level 9 and it has a lot of golden warmth the end result is gonna be more like a rose gold can anybody tell me why from the viewers there's more than a hundred people here in this video right now and I know someone has the answer Remember, it has a golden tone, the highlight, as you can see. And if you apply pink, what do you think would be the outcome or the result? We're going to see it soon, but I want to know. Is there a rose? Someone is asking. There's a question. Let me see if I could get to this question. Okay. Is there a rose gold? Juan Sandra is asking. Thank you so much for your question, Juan. He's asking if there's a rose gold. There's actually a... A pink and that's the answer if you apply a pink on a golden blonde hair it's gonna make a rose gold and it's gonna look amazing are you ready for the final result cuz I'm ready let's show it 
So I would let this now process. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. Look at it, guys, there against the light. You see the mulberry, the raspberry, the pink. Oh, it looks so good. Definitely, I would finish all of this, but because of timing, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the final result for this baby here. And here you have it. Let me use this white tooth comb to open up these curls that I created using my GHD wand. My GHD plus. Oh my God, I love the end result. I, I was dying, guys. I was dying to uh, brush these curls and I didn't do it until now. And I'm like so loving it. Thank you so much for the heart. Tracy, thank you for the applause. That reminds me of Lady Gaga. Applause, applause. Oh my goodness, what do you guys think? Look at that beautiful color. Look at the mulberry. Look at the raspberry. Remember what we did in the model that we were applying? We did the mulberry at the root and the raspberry. Let me get a little bit more light here from my ring light. Maybe this will help. There you go. To just show these colors a little more. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful, says Benji Jones. Holly Smith, beautiful. Sarah, beautiful. Thank you. Tracy, very nice. Very welcome. Great work. So beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your comments. Keep me going. I love doing these virtual um, classes, and I hope you have enjoyed everything I have done. Let's do a little recap while I show you what's going on. Do we have a question, Rafael? We have the answer for your question. Oh, the answer. Go ahead. Tell us. So, Tony R. T. Tony R. T. Because of the warm, it will turn rose gold. Correct. You guys are amazing. That's why I love Marlo's Beauty Facebook page fans. And, oh my God, you guys know everything. You guys don't need me, but I hope that I was able to inspire you to create something new. And please share it, share it with us when you do. So as you can see here, let me show a little bit of the back. Look at those beautiful tones. Oh, this is so amazing. I really, really love this. It has a natural feel to it. It looks more commercial. Maybe the rainbow fringe is not that commercial for someone in the chair, but it was fun for us as artists. And this one, oh my God, thank you. Very nice, awesome. Want to see photos of these looks? So good. Oh yes, you will get some pictures. Marlo Beauty has pictures. And so let's recap. What we did today is that I was able to share with you how to use Wella Color Charm Paints, uh, which is the fashion colors, and also the balayage, the Wella Color Charm Painting Balayage Powder Lightener to do this balayage and add the pops of colors. I also shared with you how to create a beautiful, beautiful, um, colorful rainbow bang or fringe as some people like to call it and there you have it i hope that you guys enjoy doing this oh because because i really really did linda thank you for the hearts all right guys is there any more questions let's do let's i'm gonna stay here for a minute or two a few minutes see if there's any questions that we missed we still have a few minutes if not don't worry if i didn't get to your question i will be on the lookout for those questions i will go here tomorrow and i will answer if there's because i know more people is going to watch this thank you so much everyone for watching so we have another question for marta azucena estrada she asked will you be doing a spanish class soon marta azucena thank you so much for your questions you know what I hope that I am. I hope that I am. I know that Spanish classes are on my schedule. I'm not sure if for Marlo Beauty Facebook page, but reach out to Marlo. I know Marlo is watching. And if that's what you guys need, we will provide. Okay. So we'll, ha we'll have that coming. It's fun. Thank you, says. Oh my God. No, thank you guys. It was a pleasure to um, be able to share these two looks with you and how you can recreate them or inspire you. Rafael needs to be a tour, a B tour next hair model. Yes, it is true, Tracy. <laughs>
All right, guys. So be on the lookout. Remember that if you go to Marlo Beauty Supply Instagram page, you can ask questions. There's a few steps that you can do in order to win a, um, a color combination from the Wella Color Charm Paints. So stay tuned for that. And I hope I'll see you soon next time. See you on the road. Bye.